Next, we'll install a PCI card wireless adapter into a desktop computer. First, we need to install the driver and configuration utility that came with the card. We just choose the PCI card driver instead of the one for USB. It's from the same manufacturer as the USB adapter, so the install is very similar. To install this PCI card wireless adapter into the computer, we need to open the case. So first, let's shut down the computer. The way you open the case is a little different for each computer. Most cases open from the left side. There are usually two or three screws on the back of the case you need to remove. Some cases have a lever that needs to be pulled, and the side of the case will slide back and off. See your computer's manual for exact instructions for getting inside the case. This is a home theater PC case, which is meant to lay down flat, so the case opens from the top. If you've built your own computer, following our home PC builder videos, you already know how to install a PCI card. Before we can add the card, we have to remove the metal plate just inside the back of the case. This plate is usually held in by a screw. On some cases, there's a plastic clip that needs to be pulled back. On this case, the plate comes right out. But on some cases, you have to pry it out. If you have to pry the plate out, use a screwdriver and pliers because the edges will be sharp. Position yourself so that the screw hole is on your left side. To install the wireless adapter PCI card, hold it by its faceplate and the edge of the board so that the chips are facing the bottom of the case. Place the card at the opening of the slot so that the faceplate will go just to the left of the motherboard's edge. Then push the card straight into the slot until it's seated, and the faceplate is up against the screw hole. Then secure the card to the case with a screw. If you've bought a PCI Express card, it installs the same way into an open PCI Express slot on the motherboard. The wireless network card has connections on the back to screw in the antennas. Next, we'll close up the computer's case and turn the computer on. Once in Windows, it will find the card we just installed and load the drivers for it automatically. Just like the USB wireless adapter we put into the last computer, down by the clock we have an icon that gives the name of the device and says it's disconnected. We'll get it connected to the router and online in Section 4.